causes inflation. Now, there are two main, the cause of inflation can be categorized into two main categories. The first is demand pull inflation. The second is cost push inflation. Now, what is this? What, are, what is the idea behind this demand pull inflation and cost push, cost push inflation? Now, to understand the idea of demand pull inflation and cost push inflation, we need to understand certain basic principles of uh, microeconomics that has got to de deal with demand and supply. Now, most of you might be aware of this simple uh, demand and supply graph where we are plotting with a green uh, curve is the the demand curve so by the way on the on the y axis we have we have uh, price on the y axis uh, uh, and on the x axis we have we have quantity so we have quantity on the x axis now the green the green curve here is the 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 demand curve so as the uh, uh, as the as the quantity uh, increases, uh, as the price increases, the quantity decreases. So we have the, the demand curve here, and as as the price decreases, the quantity increases. And the white one is the supply curve. As so, as the price increases, the quantity increases, or as the quantity increases, uh, the price increases. So we have a demand curve and a supply curve. And this point here is the equilibrium point, which is the uh, uh, which is the price. So this is the equilibrium price for a certain uh, for so certain goods and services, uh, or, or for any for any particular goods and services or the aggregate goods and services in the economy. Now uh, to focus, so let us first focus on on demand pull inflation. Now what could what happens if let let's say for some reason the demand for the goods and services and uh, for a particular goods and services or let's say the demand for the aggregate goods and services in the economy increases. So there's a greater demand. When that happens, then the demand curve shifts, uh, shifts upward. So we see this upward shift in the, in the demand curve. Now when the demand curve shift, shifts upwards, we say that there was a demand pull inflation because we, let's say, note where the prices are. The prices here have increased. So we have the prices now, which has gone, gone up from this point here to this point here. So the, the, the increase in the prices happened because the aggregate demand, or let's say the demand for a one particular commodity increased. So the price is increasing because of such a shift in the demand curve is called the demand pull inflation. Similarly, we have the cost push inflation where for some reason, the supply curve shifts upwards. So if the supply curve shifts upwards, then we will see the prices increasing from, from this low point here to this high point uh, here. This increase in prices is coming about because there was a, a reduction in the supply, or there's something that caused the supply curve to shift upwards. What could cause the supply curve to shift upwards? Well, there could be many reasons. So on an aggregate level for an for a, for a economy like India, a bad monsoon could be something which shifts the supply curve upwards. Why? Because a bad monsoon could lead to lower production of, of agricultural produce. And because of the lower production of agricultural produce, there could be lower supply, which could shift the supply curve upwards. So anything which shifts the supply curve upwards, causing the prices to go up, uh, such an inflation is caused is, is is called a cost push inflation. Okay, so essentially inflation is caused either by an increase in demand or by a decrease in supply. So this is the two main reasons why you could have inflation. Now, what causes this increase in demand or the decrease in supply? What is the role of money? In this, in this increase in demand or the decrease in supply, because money or the role money supply has a very, very crucial link with inflation. So we need to understand that as well, and I'll be exploring into the role of money or money supply and inflation in later videos. But broadly, again, to to uh, uh, review what we did, what I explained here, the inflation is essentially caused by 
can, can either be caused by an increase in demand or by a decrease in supply. So that's the, the increase in demand is the demand pull inflation and the decrease in supply is called the cost push inflation. Thank <music> you.